Hello, Robert. Would you uh, like to introduce the rest of the group to us? Yes, here's the rest of the group. Boris, Lawrence, Paul, Simon. Hello, everybody. Thank you. You just released uh, an album, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Um, most of those songs were written in France and you recorded the album in France. Why was that? Do you Have you got a particular love for that country? It was just a, the choice of studio. It was in a situation which we thought would be entertaining. It was in its own vineyard and it was in the, down in Provence, so it was nice weather and like late autumn. Um, and also they like us in France at the moment, so we may as well abuse their hospitality. You recorded it in uh, the Miraval studios and I heard you were very, very popular in France. Yeah. <laughs> and you so, sound surprised. <laughs> well, I'm not. And in Argentina, I heard there was a real cure mania going on over there. Really, thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, I think it's, it's because no one has really been to South America, a group of our type. They're, they're used to having very boring people there, like sort of old people. So when we went there, I think it, we caused like, um, a lot of chaos just because we were the first, I don't know what whatever you'd call us, the first youngish group to have gone there in a long time. It was good. It was good fun. You write uh, all, the thong all the songs. Are they autobiographic? Um, lyrically, um, yeah, most of it is from direct experience. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Obviously the ones where uh, I drown aren't from direct experience, but... Because um, they are, on one side, very uh, melancholy and uh, on the other side quite light-hearted. I mean, really in an extreme way. Does that t tell us something about your personality? Yes, even my shirt's called Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, it it's really just reflects like the whole group, or the songs are supposed to represent the whole group. So um, we're neither constantly morose nor constantly happy. We sort of fluctuate wildly between the two, as everyone does, don't they? <laughs> and bursting out in tears. There was a row about the album uh, Standing on the Beach in America, about the song Killing an Arab. They wanted you to take it off. Yeah, well, it was really just a couple of DJs played the song and in insinuated that it had racist content when it didn't. And they didn't even bother playing it, they just played like a few seconds and said, yeah, this is called Killing an Arab. So the American Arab League got a bit distressed by it and they um, wrote us a letter and I wrote back to them explaining what the song was about. And we put a sticker on the record just to say that it's not supposed to cause any, um, whatever the word is, regret or harm or something to uh, Arab people. But I, we, and we've had it withdrawn from radio play as well, just so that it dies down. It's really stupid. It could only happen in America. Okay. I'd like to be you. Why can't I be you? No, you can if you want. <laughs> do you want to go and do this mine? <laughs> no.